I could give you a number of uh, examples where I ended up being one of the most fortunate people because it didn't look like it was going to come my way being an astronaut. As we were coming down, all the commanders had decided they did not want the computer to make the touchdown. So there was a control system where you could take over at 500 feet and begin to see how it responded and then begin to direct it where you wanted it to go. 50 years ago, the Saturn V took the command module, the lunar module, three of us to the moon. We landed, explored, got back up again, rendezvoused, came back. That's 50 years of non-progress. I think we all ought to be a little ashamed that we can't do better than that. There, there was a little uncertainty, and I don't want to go into all the details as to whether the training that was required for the commander during launch and then coming back and at the moon, he made the landing and he would make the ascent just like previous flights, the experiments were given to the co-pilot. So it didn't require, well, now we got a big experiment that's outside. 